Let's take a look at another example from section 10.2. This one says the data show the bug chirps per minute at different temperatures. Find the regression equation, letting the first variable be the independent variable x. Find the best predicted temperature for a time when a bug is chirping at the rate of 3,000 chirps per minute. Use a significance level of 0 0.05. And then it asks, what is wrong with the best, uh, what is wrong with this predicted value? Okay, let's go ahead and find out what the regression equation is and determine if there's a correlation or not. Let's go ahead and open this up in StatCrunch. Okay, we're going to go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, select our variables, and then let's put a prediction of Y, so that way if there is a correlation, I could just go ahead and use that value. And we'll click on Compute. Okay, so here's our regression equation. So it says round the, round the x coefficient to four decimal places, and it says round the constant to two decimal places. So now, this is just using different terminology than the previous problem. So the constant to two decimal places, the constant is the one that does not have the variable attached to it. That's this 31.1795. So it says round that to two decimal places, so this would become 31.18. 31.18 and then the coefficient of x that's the number that's in front of our x which is remember x is representing chirps in one minute so around to four decimal places I have 0 0.0491 okay and now this is our regression equation now one thing if I click on this right arrow so it shows my scatter plot and then that red line that's the best fit line. That's our regression equation. And if I actually highlighted it, it actually tells us the regression equation right over there. Okay, so now it's asking what's the best predicted temperature for a time when a bug is chirping at 3,000 chirps per minute? Well, let's determine if there's a correlation or not. So this time they were giving us the significance level, which was 0.05. The previous problem, it didn't give us a significance level. If you're ever not given a significance level, I failed to mention that in the previous problem, always use 0 0.05. Now let's go ahead and use our p-value method. Okay, so our p-value method, our p-value here is less than the significance level. So p-value is 0 0.0016, which is less than 0 0.05. So what that means is that we reject the null hypothesis. So since we're rejecting the null hypothesis, remember the null hypothesis means that there was no correlation, we rejected that. So that means that there is indeed a correlation. So since there is a correlation between these two variables, I could go ahead and use the regression equation to find my best predicted value. Now if I scroll down, this is my best predicted value right over here. It says round to one decimal place, 178.4. So this would be the temperature of this bird if it was chirping at 3,000 chirps per minute. Okay, but now it's asking what is wrong with this predicted value. Well, the value that we're asked to predict 3,000 chirps per minute, this isn't in the scope of the values that we were given. So notice how all these chirps in one minute that were given to us, none of these are even close to 3,000. And then what would happen if a bird, bird's temperature was 178.4 degrees Fahrenheit? It would probably be dead. So what is wrong with this predicted value? And that is it is unrealistically high. The value 3000 is far outside of the range of the observed values.